Praise the Lord. I'm Vinton and this is my wife Carol. Lovingly I call her Kai because I'm the favored one of the Lord because he has given her to me. Uh, on behalf of Pastor Chako and the Petra Ministries, I welcome each one of you for this online service. I'll take just two scriptures. The Bible says in book of Psalms chapter 30 and verse 5 For his anger is but for a moment His favour is for life Weeping may endure for a night But joy comes in the morning Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah And the Bible says in Lamentations 3 verse 22 and 23 His mercies are never consumed They are new every morning And great is his faithfulness Amen. This morning we pray that even as you are attending this service, you may experience the joy of the Lord and, and His enduring mercy over your life. We'll begin with the worship, the word and the breaking of bread. Please prepare your heart for the same. May you always know that you are the blessed of the Lord, blessed above blessed, graced above graced, highly favored and deeply loved of the Lord. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah, Lord. We give you glory, Lord. We give you praise, O Lord. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for Hallelujah. this day, Lord. We thank you for this time, O Lord. We exalt your holy name, O Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. You are the King of Kings, O Lord. You are the Lord of Lords, O Lord. We bless your holy name, O Lord Jesus. We praise your holy name, O Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for this day, Lord. We thank you for this time, O Lord. We thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. For every blessing, O Lord. We thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. For your word says, O Lord, you are a good God, O Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. We exalt your holy name. Name, O Lord Jesus, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah Lord. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Lord. Oh, Hallelujah, Holy Spirit, Lord, we commit this time, O Holy oh, Spirit, into your hands, O oh, Holy Spirit. You, oh, we Jesus. pray, Lord, Hallelujah, Lord, that oh, your yes, power, Lord, your presence, Lord, oh, shall yes, go before Lord. us, Lord. Hallelujah, Make every crooked path straight, O Lord. We apply the blood of Jesus, O Lord, Hallelujah, Lord, over this congregation, Lord, over each and every person present in this place, O Lord, Hallelujah, Lord. Each and every families, O Lord, we cover them with the precious blood of Jesus, O Lord. Oh, we speak forth your blessing over their life, O Lord, over their families, O Lord, Hallelujah, Lord. No sickness shall ever touch, Lord. No sickness shall cover come. Anytime in, near their household, O oh Lord, oh, hallelujah, yes, Lord. Lord. We give you glory, Lord. Hallelujah. We give you praise, O oh Lord. Oh, in thank Jesus' you, name we pray, Abba, Father. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. We want to surrender this time in the hands of Father. We thank you, Jesus, for your presence upon this place, Father. Amen. We thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Even this day, Lord, hallelujah. I know may him be glorified, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, we thank you, Jesus, Lord. Your word says, when you are to gather in your name, Lord, hallelujah, that your presence is, O oh, Father. Amen. Father, we surrender this time of worship, Lord. Hallelujah. The word in the hands, Amen. Lord. Amen. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. As the word we heard, Lord, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. We're going to shout favor, favor, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Father, we're going to surrender. Oh, the entire church, Lord. Hallelujah. We're going to surrender the man of God. Oh, we're going to surrender the church, Lord. We're going to surrender, Lord. Hallelujah. Each and every family, Lord. Oh, we're going to surrender, Lord, in the hands, Lord. We pray. Oh, yes, Lord. We're going to apply the blood of Jesus. Oh, upon the man of God, upon the hallelujah. The families, Lord. We're going to apply the blood, Lord. Hallelujah. Upon the children, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, Lord. We're going to call forth the favor upon each and every child of God, Father. Oh, yes, Lord. Even this day, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, we're going to pray, Lord, hallelujah. Oh, the blood shall protect them. Oh, from all, hallelujah. Oh, diseases, Lord, hallelujah. Oh, from all evil, oh, Father, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord, let your children be protected and guarded, Lord, hallelujah. Oh, the jaws be protected, Lord. Oh, the hallelujah, the ministries be protected, Lord. The families be protected, Lord. The marriages be protected, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord, we pray, Lord, hallelujah. Oh, even this night, day, Lord, hallelujah. Oh, yes, Lord, the favor, oh, to go in those areas, Lord, hallelujah. Oh, we need favor, Lord, hallelujah. Oh, the mercy, go in those areas, Lord. We will need mercy, Lord, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Father, we're going to surrender the entire Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, service in the hands of Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, especially we're going to pray for our man of God. Oh, yes, Lord. Protect him. Guard him. Keep him as the apple of the eye, Lord. Oh, we thank you, Jesus, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. We keep him in our prayers, Lord. We uphold in our prayers, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, Lord. Father, the word says, strike the shepherd and the she shall be scattered, Lord. Oh, even this nay, hey, Lord. Hallelujah. Father, guard him. Oh, guard his family. Guard his blessings, Lord. Hallelujah. Guard everything that he has, Lord. Hallelujah. We remember all the men of God, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, Oh, yes, Lord, hallelujah. Oh, Father, oh, we pray, Lord, hallelujah. The same anointing, Lord, oh, which is upon the man of God, hallelujah. We pray upon our church, upon the children, Lord, hallelujah. Upon each and every one, Lord, hallelujah. Once again, we thank you for your presence upon this place, Father. In Jesus' name we pray, Father. Amen. Hallelujah. We bless your holy name. We give you, you glory. Jesus. We praise oh, you, Lord. We exalt your name. We thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We enter your gates, O oh Lord, with thanksgiving in our hearts. We enter your courts with praise. Hallelujah. We lift up our eyes unto the hill. Where does our help come from? Oh, our help comes from you, O oh Lord, the Holy One of Israel, O oh Lord. 
who neither sleeps nor slumbers, O Lord. Today we lift you up in this place that you may be exalted, Lord. Great are you, Lord. Greatly to be praised. Oh, hallelujah. Give us new songs, O Lord. Songs of deliverance, O Lord. Songs that will declare your majesty, O Lord. Songs that will declare your might, O Lord. Songs that will declare, O Lord, that you are blameless and holy, O Lord. Oh, there's none like you, Father. Oh, Rakhara, Rajanandara. Yeah. 
be the God of fresh rain, O Lord. Oh, fresh rain, O Lord. Oh, fresh dew, O Lord. Upon everyone who is thirsty and hungry, O Lord. Oh, Rasana, Rasana, Rasana. Hallelujah. That when two or more are gathered in his name, he's there in our midst. Hallelujah. Today there is power in agreement. Hallelujah. The apostles, when they agreed, God did mighty works in their midst. The word says, Hallelujah, that when Peter and John prayed, they agreed upon anything. Hallelujah. There were miracles that happened. Hallelujah. When Paul and Silas agreed, chains were broken, doors were open, prison doors were open. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today, just agree with us. Agree with the word of God. Agree with the man of God. Agree with the promises of God. Amen. The word says that everything is possible with the one who believes within God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. There's nothing impossible with the one who believes in God. Hallelujah. That Hallelujah. God is able to do the impossible. He's able to deliver you. Amen. He's able to heal you. He's Amen. able to set you free. Hallelujah. Today, as you worship and praise Him, just prepare the way. Hallelujah. With your praise. With your worship, hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's able to make every crooked path straight. Hallelujah. He's able to heal you and touch you in areas that you have no answers to. Hallelujah. 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 Just get ready today. Hallelujah. I believe that there's going to be a mighty move in these days. Hallelujah. That the Lord is going to take us ahead of time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The word says that the latter day glory will be greater than the former days. Hallelujah. For that we need to be ready. We need to be ready to receive from God. We need to be ready to receive the word. We need to be ready to receive the fire. Hallelujah. To run in the river. To walk in the river. To flow in the river. To flow in the river of anointing. Hallelujah. Oh, we worship you. To bring light into the darkness, He has come. Oh, to bring freedom. To bring freedom to oh, the darkness, He has come. To restore the broken heart. Oh, wow. 
that that the one who is in us is greater than the one who is in this world that the one who is anointed us hallelujah sons and daughters hallelujah the lord will pour out his spirit on every flesh on the sons and daughters of men hallelujah he will restore the years that the locusts have eaten ora gara gara janandara oh i don't know what people would have told you about this year but i believe hallelujah that this year is marked for the spirit of god hallelujah ora gara gara janandara oh we bless your name oh just lift up your hands wherever you are there's nothing that we can do out here hallelujah but it's the spirit of god that hovers to and fro to see the one whose heart is loyal who's faithful to god he's looking to and fro to see who am i supposed to strengthen this day hallelujah he's right there in front of you he's right there at your place today and he's looking who hallelujah who is the one who wants strengthening when the spirit of god comes hallelujah that's what changed samson it was never about him hallelujah but it was all about the spirit of god upon him hallelujah every person who did mighty did deeds hallelujah even when moses when he lifted up the rod hallelujah in all his weakness hallelujah it's the spirit of god that moved it's the spirit of god that brought deliverance for joshua hallelujah they were two different places today you and i may be in two different places hallelujah but when we lift up the rod when we lift up jesus when we lift him up hallelujah there's going to be deliverance in your home when you lift him up there's going to be deliverance elsewhere that's what happened with esther hallelujah hallelujah if she had kept silent there wouldn't be deliverance hallelujah Amen. hallelujah you might be weak hallelujah we all are weak at times hallelujah but the word says that Aaron and Hur lifted up the hand of Moses hallelujah i i just love that scripture because the word says that Moses was tired he was weak he put down his hand and that's when the amalekites were overcoming joshua but then Aaron and Hur came to help and they supported him they agreed with him hallelujah today just agree with one another hallelujah do not be discouraged but just agree with one another there's power in agreement hallelujah and the lord showed up as a banner in their lives the words that the enemies that they saw they had forgotten they never remembered them again hallelujah and the and moses declared that day that the lord is my banner that the lord is my banner today look at one another and say that the lord is my banner hallelujah i know you are with me brother i know you are with me sister in my weak moments hallelujah to agree hallelujah and it's the spirit of the lord that will bring forth victory hallelujah today we are going to dig deep hallelujah we are going to worship him hallelujah by crying out to the lord hallelujah by blessing his name we are going to sing this song again where the spirit of the sovereign lord is upon us ora khara dara janandra and i just believe that there's a river of anointing flowing here hallelujah you can be part of it Wherever you are, you can be part of it. Oh, Raja 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 Nanda Ra, Kalabal Sparuda Ra, Bari Bara Ja, Kara Bari Bara Ja. of living water today do not let your heart be troubled but trust in him guard your heart from every trouble from every fear hallelujah 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because it is out of the believer's heart that flows rivers of living water. Hallelujah. We are going to sing this song, Deep Cries Out, to God, hallelujah, from the depth of our heart. We are going to tell the enemy that we are not going to give room for any fear, any anger, any bitterness, any offense. Hallelujah. But that room belongs only to Jesus. And we are going to dig. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to dig deep through our worship. I've got a river of living water, a fountain that never will run dry. Oh, it's an open heavens. Open heavens, we're releasing, and we will never be denied. Oh, I've got a river. I've got a river of living water, a fountain that never will run dry. Oh, it's an open heavens. It's an open heavens, we're releasing, and we will never be denied. Cause we're stirring up deep, deep wells, we're stirring up deep, deep waters, we're gonna dance in the river, dance in the river. Stirring up deep, deep wells. We're stirring up deep, deep waters. We're gonna jump in the river. Jump in the river. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If y'all were in church, y'all would be doing this. Hallelujah. Why don't you grab hold of your spouse, your kids, your parents, whoever's around? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're gonna sing this again. And you can follow me. You can follow us. Up deep, deep wells. Oh, we are just showing up deep, deep waters. We're gonna dance in the river. Dance in the river. I'm stirring up deep, deep wells. We're stirring up deep, deep waters. We're gonna jump in the river. Jump.
cry out to the Lord. Hallelujah. He's going to release a joy. Oh, hallelujah. Favor is just knocking at your door. Hallelujah. You just need to bask in it. Hallelujah. Deep cries out to you. Deep cries out to you. Deep cries out to you. You, Jesus. If he goes to the left, we'll go to the left. I'm missing the kids here. Hallelujah. Jump, 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 jump in the river. Jump, 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 jump in the river. If he goes to the left, we'll go to the left. If he goes to the right, we'll go to the right. We gotta jump, jump. Jump, jump in the river. Jump, 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 jump in the river. They're going to dance, 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 dance in the river. Dance, 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 everybody. We're going to shout, 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 shout in the river. Shout, 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 shout everybody. Dance, 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 dance in the river. Dance, 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 everybody. Shout, 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 shout in the river. His river is moving in our lives, in every area. Where the river flows, there is healing, the Bible says. There's deliverance where the river flows. Today, if you're dry, you're hungry and thirsty, just ask the Holy Spirit to fill me up once again. Just tell the Lord that you are going to just look unto Him. Oh, He is your strength. He is your mighty deliverer. God, I look to you. You're where my health comes from. Oh, we lift up our hands. Oh, we lift up our expectation unto you, O oh Lord. Oh, we bless your name.
at his feet this day. Just tell him you love him the most in your life. Everything that you've put before him. Oh, just remove those idols, Father. Today we come before you as little children. Just giving you our lives. Just telling him that there's nothing more important than you, O oh Lord. There's nothing that you have preeminence apart from you, O oh Lord.
do it with the ability that comes from God with all your strength with all your love with all your heart with all your soul with all your mind could you just lift him up
You are worthy of it all. For from you are all things, and to you are all things. You deserve the glory. Power to heal and to set you free this day. You are worthy of it all. There's no one who can touch you like the way the Lord can. There's no one who can set you free, who can forgive and to heal and give you a new start. You deserve the glory.
rapture. Wishes of rapture. Now burst at my side. Now burst at my side. Angels descending. Angels descending. Rain from above. And also from us. tonight we thank you for your grace we thank you for your kindness we thank you for your mercy oh it is more than enough lord oh we thank you what in heaven we have but you what on earth we desire besides you tonight oh hallelujah lord it is you lord 
it is you that who have brought us into this realm of grace and truth of favor and benefits and we thank you lord we thank you lord you are our heavenly boaz who will not rest till we walk in his law till we flow in the benefits of your redemption lord amen till lord we hallelujah walk in the fullness of your goodness lord amen and we thank you jesus for that assurance tonight we give you praise we give you glory in faith we receive it and with a thankful heart we give you praise and glory lord Jesus name father amen 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 let's be seated in the presence of god hallelujah thank you jesus tonight I want to speak a word from genesis chapter 45 9 to 11th verse the bible says hasty and go up lord of father and say unto him thus saith thy son joseph God had made me lord of all the Egypt come down unto me tarry not and thou shalt dwell in the land of Goshen and thou shalt be near unto me thou and thy children and thy children's children and thy flocks and thy herds and all that you have and there I will nourish thee for yet there are 5 years of famine lest thou and thy household and all that thou hast come to poverty one more scripture tonight from psalm 107:15 and the 16th verse oh that men would praise the lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men for he hath broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder tonight the word that i want to minister is on the grace and the favor of goshen hallelujah in genesis 45 and the 10th verse we find this word goshen Joseph is saying thou shall dwell in the land of Goshen everybody say Goshen and thou shall be near unto me thou and thy children and thy children's children and thy flocks and thy herds and all that thou hast and there i will nourish thee and yet there are five years of famine lest thou and thy household and all that has come to poverty prophetically that word Goshen means the land of preservation we know from the scriptures that it is the land of plenty the land of multiplication and increase when you study the book of genesis you will find it was a place of deliverance a place of increase from trouble and a place of double fruitfulness when there was a famine all throughout the earth in the land of goshen there was no lack in the land of goshen there was light in the land of goshen there was protection for god's people in the land of goshen there was enough and more than enough bread glory to god goshen was the richest and the most fertile place and the, all the people in that land were prosperous and nourished later on you will find in the book of exodus when god's judgment came about in egypt and across the land in the land of goshen there was light and there was blessing and there was overflowing and there was peace and there was prosperity Hallelujah judgments did not enter there and the bible warns us that in the last days deep darkness shall cover the earth but the glory of yahweh shall arise over god's people hallelujah praise the lord even this night don't look at the world don't agree with the world and say that's what is going to happen to me you are different with a with a capital d because you are a child of promise everybody who's washed and uh, hallelujah praise the lord uh, set apart uh, uh, by the blood of jesus christ are in the land of goshen and you are called to enjoy the plentiful benefits hallelujah through the redemptive power of his holy blood hallelujah if you believe that put your hands together hallelujah receive your portion in the 
God by faith. You are a child of promise. You have a covenant with God. You have been bought and redeemed by the blood of Jesus. Not with silver or gold, but by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. And you have the word of promise tonight. Declare over you. Receive it in the Holy Spirit. Oh, hallelujah. As long as this word abides in you, this word works in you, this word is revelatory towards you by the power of the Holy Spirit. You are separate from the world. You are separate from COVID. You are separate from darkness. You are separate from lack. You are separate from poverty. Hallelujah. The glory of God will cover you. The glory of God will preserve you. The glory of God will watch over you. The glory of God, hallelujah, will follow you to bless your life fire by night cloud during the day he shall lead you hallelujah all the days of your life tonight the lord told me as i was praying death threatening diseases that is fashioned against you shall not prosper shall not stand tonight god's portion is long life that threatening diseases that is fashioned against God's people tonight I rebuke it, I bind it and I release and lose your life to long life, hallelujah, praise God and to nourishment of Goshen tonight in the name of the Lord geographically Goshen is a place very close to River Nile, the west coast but spiritually it is a level in the spirit in the spiritual realm, it's a place where you're preserved it's a place where you're protected. It's a place when others are troubled. You are not. Because God is preserving you, multiplying you, blessing you amidst the trouble. That's our portion tonight. Write this in your heart. What destroys other people will not destroy you because of favor. Open your mouth and declare it over your life, over your family, over everything that you have. What destroys other people will not destroy me because I am highly favored. I am under the favor of the blood of Jesus Christ. I am under the favor of the cross of Calvary. I am under the unmerited favor. I receive it by faith tonight in Jesus' name. Look at who's over sitting next to you and say, I might be mad at you, but God is not mad at you. God favors you tonight. God favors you tonight. God favors you tonight. Kudian might be mad at you. Oh no, hallelujah. God favors you tonight. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. There are three realms in the which a believer can be. Realm of just survival. Realm of sufficiency. And the realm of surplus living. Noah survived the flood. The people of God, Joshua generation. Hallelujah. Cornerstone Church, Petra Church, and all our churches. You and me, the child of God. You and I will survive this COVID-19. There's a realm of survival. Noah survived the flood. Your business, your family, your health will survive this COVID-19 in the name of Jesus. Come on somebody tonight. If you receive it, say Amen. But that's not where we want to be in the realm of the Spirit. That's just a start. Psalm 107 says, Oh, give thanks to the Lord for His good and His mercies endure it forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, that He has redeemed us from the hand of the enemy and gathered them out of the lands from the east and from the to dwell in, south and from the south. They wandered in the wilderness, a solitary way. They found no city to dwell in. Hungry and thirsty, they also fainted in them. They also cried to the Lord in their trouble. And the Bible says, He delivered them out of their distresses tonight. And He led them forth by the right way that they might go into a city of habitation. That's survival. Hallelujah. He delivered them out of their distresses. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Then led them forth at the right way that might go into a city of habitation. That's survival. In the wilderness, He redeemed them. In the wilderness, he saw them a solitary way. Hallelujah. When their soul fainted, God answered them and led them forth in the right way. That's survival. But don't stop there. Read the next verse. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness, for his wonderful works to the children of men. For he satisfies the longing soul and fills the hungry soul with goodness. That's sufficiency. That's sufficiency. 
from survival he is satisfying you with his goodness continue your reading and such as sit in darkness and the shadow of death being bound in affliction and iron because they rebelled against the words of the lord and contented contempted contemned contemned the counsel of the most high god therefore he brought down their heart with labor not favor brought with labor they fell down and there was none to help that's a place of no favor because they rebelled against god the bible said then they cried out to the lord in their trouble and he saved them out of their distresses he brought them out of darkness and the shadow of death and break their bands in sunder oh that men would praise the lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men for he had broken the gates of brass everybody say gates of brass and cuts the bars of iron say but cuts the bars of iron in sunder that's prosperity that surplus living from survival to sufficiency to prosperity or surplus living why it's surplus living because the bible says he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder sunder means a part that cannot be joined back together tonight certain bars of iron hallelujah above you tonight be broken be cut in sunder so that devil cannot enemy cannot put it back tonight in the name of jesus it cannot hallelujah can be joined back together it's dissolved it disunited it's broken apart somebody's chains and the bars of iron are going to break tonight into two it cannot be broke together the bondage cannot return back to you or to your family he's going to break it off tonight in the name of jesus why do we say that's a place of surplus living isaiah 45 1 to 3 the bible says thus say the lord to his anointed to Cyrus whose right hand I've held and to subdue the nations before him I loose the loins of kings and to open before him two leaved gates and the gate shall not be shut I will go before him and make the crooked place straight and I will break in pieces the gates and the bars I will break in pieces the gates of brass and cut it sunder the bars of iron so here the prophecy over cyrus 100 years before he was born it spoke this it's spoken by the prophet isaiah and says i will break in pieces of gates of brass and cut in sunder the bars of iron but it, it's amazing what happens afterwards verse 3 i will give thee the treasures of darkness and hidden riches of secret places that thou may know that i am the lord which shall call you by name the god of israel when the gates of brass were broken and the bars of iron are sundered you have the treasures come on church tonight you have the treasures released in darkness and in secret places it's good treasures not evil tonight in the name of the lord may the treasures be released over your life in the blood name of jesus treasures that you have never known before treasures in darkness treasures that were hidden before let it be released tonight if you believe it put your hands together give praise and shout in the holy ghost divaria sambara dara digal karadura sangara digal rede digal rede tonight we receive it by faith in the name of jesus hallelujah look at the person next to you took at the husband and the wife and say treasure treasure is going to come to me treasure treasure is going to come to me treasure treasure is going to come to me amen treasures are going to come to you that surplus living when you are in that realm Job chapter 28 7 and 8 says there is a path which no fowl knoweth and which the vultures i has not seen the lions hallelujah webs have not trodden it nor the fierce lion pass by it in other words god has kept ways which the vultures do not know the proud lions cannot see there are blessings hallelujah you haven't seen which nobody knows which the vultures of the air and the proud lions are unable to find it hallelujah where the enemy cannot locate you where the enemy cannot locate your blessings that is the kind of blessing god has kept for the ones that you love him no eye has seen no ear has heard no mind has conceived for the things so oh, come on somebody tonight for the things god has prepared to those who love him there are things god has kept for you 
It's not speaking about spiritual stuff. It's speaking about things. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Lift your hands and say, things that I cannot fathom in my mind, things that I cannot figure out with my head, God is going to bring into my life. God is going to bring hallelujah, through in my life in Jesus' name. And the church said, Amen. And the church said, Amen. And the church said, What God has for you, He will bring into your life. That's why we should be bold enough to say, I don't want anything in my life that is not assigned to me. That is not God given. Because what is God given will come to you. You don't want even a rupee that God does not want us to have. We know He does not want anything in this world that God does not give us. The blessing of the Lord maketh you rich as no sorrow. We don't want anything that brings sorrow into our lives. However good it looks from the outset. From the outside lift your hands and say lord i only want what you give me lord i only want what you give me there are things which only god can give that god will release forth because you are his child there are things that holy spirit wants to impart into you there are people who just look to survive through this phase there are people who are looking to the realm of sufficiency which is equal to success but then, what God wants us, it's a surplus living. Hallelujah. This is how things were in Goshen. Where God's people were, there was no lack. Because surplus living is equal to significance. Some people have success, but they are not significant. God wants you to have biblical successes so that you are significant in the kingdom of God. Our successes should trigger significance. Come on. Our successes should lead us into significance. That's what our church needs. That's what your life needs. That's what my life needs. Let us pray tonight as a church that God will give us success and our success will lead us into significance for the kingdom in the name of Jesus. And that can only happen when the gates of brass and the bars of iron are broken over your life tonight. That's why this word will break it tonight. If you believe, take this word tonight. There is an anointing. There is a weight. There is a heaviness of God's oil coming and destroying it. Smearing over that bars of iron and breaking it tonight. Oh, karaba, shikaraba, roshia. How do you know that you are under a bar of iron? When you pray, and your answers are forthcoming and there is a prolonged delay chances are there is an iron bar and a brace in heaven over you not every delay but there are some delays not caused by God God does not cause delay the Bible says before you call me he will answer you then why is this kinds of delay Chances are that, see, sometimes chances are that you cost it. Whether it's about marriage, you know, some people, not everyone, sometimes certain people, or whether, whether it's about having a baby, or being blessed in some area of your life, something that is delayed, not every delay. Many a time you need to discern and find out whether it is your rebellion or disobedience to God's instruction that has cost the closed heaven over your life. Hallelujah. See, there are testings that might come from God, but that's not for a eternal <laughs> I delays. Amen. But these are delays that are caused by you. How do you know there's a brazen in heaven and the grounds are like iron? When you sow and you don't reap, the ground is like iron. Nothing is coming out of it. It represents curse and poverty. It's easy to sow in a fertile land. The Bible says, give and it shall be given to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together. Men will give into your bosom. But when there is a rebellion and disobedience to God's instruction, you will find it as closed. You work hard, but there is nothing to show for. Seeds cannot, seeds cannot grow in the midst of iron. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Look at Genesis chapter 3, verse 17 to 19 tonight. 
And to Adam he said, Because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife, and thou hast eaten of the tree which I commanded thee, saying, Thou shalt not eat of it. Cursed is the ground for thy sake. In sorrow thou shalt eat of it and all the days of your life. Thorns and thistles shall it bring forth to thee, and thou shalt eat the herb of the field. In thy sweat of thy face thou shalt eat bread. Till thou return unto ground, for out of it wast thou taken, for thus thou art unto dust thou shalt return. In the garden of Eden, God said unto Adam, because you listen to your wife, thorns and thistles will come from the earth. You will sweat, you will labor, you'll hardly get anything out of the seed that you sow. Out of the seed that you sow because there was a curse that was on the land. But the Bible says, Jesus took those thorns and allowed to be placed on his head so that you will not have to carry this curse upon your life. You will walk in fame tonight. Aren't you glad tonight? Jesus took that was happened in the garden of Eden. He took those thorns and thistles and those curse upon his own head when he was crowned with the hallelujah crown of thorns. It was a hallelujah sign that that curse was broken. That Jesus took it over over his life and he shed his blood so that your sins shall be forgiven and that which was passed down from Adam hallelujah to your life shall be broken over your life and never again return back in Jesus name. Oh, Rabbi, I think you need to be more joyful than that. You need to be more happier than that. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. He went to the Calvary's cross and set you free. That's why the Bible says, oh, let men praise him. Let everyone praise him. When you hear these kind of words, nothing else out of the believer's heart shall flow. Reverse of praise tonight. Ibaria Samhara. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. He lifted up your curse. He took your shame because of His name. The Bible says instead of shame, you will have fame and double portion. Instead of your shame, He took your curse. He took those thorns on Him. Lift your hands and say, Jesus, thank you for taking my curse. Thank you for putting my thorns upon your head, Lord, so that my head is free tonight to receive from heaven. If you believe it, give Him praise and thanks in the home that you are sitting tonight. Lift up your hands. Lift up your head. Hallelujah. Stand up in your place and say, Lord, I thank you, Lord. If it was not for you, hallelujah, Lord, I would be walking in a cursed atmosphere, in a cursed place. Jesus, we give you praise. He carried it, the Bible says. We just sang that song. He carried it. Genesis 4, 9. <clears throat> the Lord said unto Cain, Where is Abel thy brother? And he said, I know not. Am I brother's keeper? Cain killed his own brother Abel. And he's saying, am I his keeper? When the Lord asked, where is he? What did you do? Am I my brother's keeper? Always remember, either you are your brother's keeper or you are your brother's killer. Tonight, it's a decision we have to make. Are we our brother's keeper or are we our brother's killer? Genesis 4, 10 to 12 says, and he said, what have you done? The voice of your brother's blood cries out to me from the ground. So now you are cursed from the earth, which has opened its mouth to receive your brother's blood from your hand. When you till the ground, it shall no longer yield its strength to you. You will be a fugitive and a vagabond. You shall be on this earth, on the earth. In other words, God was saying, Hallelujah. When you are walking disobedience to the instructions of God. He says, whatever you do, when you don't come under the grace of the Almighty God, whatever you do, going to be wasted. The Bible says you will become a vagabond, one who cannot hold any job. What he starts something but cannot complete it. Starts a marriage life, cannot complete it. Starts the ministry but cannot complete it. Start a job but cannot complete it. Start learning a music instrument, 
but like, I mean nothing start parenting but they're not, that's not completed tonight in the blood name of Jesus every spirit of vagabond inside the church inside your family I take spiritual authority as your pastor as your father in this house I take spiritual authority tonight I rebuke that spirit of vagabond to leave in the power of your holy name in the blood of Jesus Christ every attack of a vagabond inside the church be broken tonight let us be brothers keeper and not killer in the name of Jesus we come under your holy blood tonight Lord we are your forgiveness if you have killed people with our words with our actions oh lord i be prayer oh release over our lives tonight and release over other people's life tonight in the name of jesus we receive our forgiveness lord we receive your mercy tonight and we release mercy to those who have hurt us tonight in jesus name amen He does something today and something else tomorrow. Nothing is concrete in his life. That is a vagabond. When you fail to pray for your brother or your sister and keep them before the Lord in prayer, the Bible says your ground can become like iron and heavens can become like a brace in covering. When you're killing someone with your words, your actions, killing someone softly, a small talk, something bad about somebody who's redeemed by the blood of Jesus Christ, you won't experience the release. Amen. Don't do that to your life tonight. Hallelujah. You have to receive grace tonight. Favor tonight. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. To be a blessing tonight. Dibariya sambharadaras. Dol baradaras kere daras kere ba. In Deuteronomy 28, we know the scripture. When you obey the Lord, He will open the heavens and the earth produces. God rewards obedience. God rewards an atmosphere of love. God re rewards a lifestyle of love. God has poured out His love into your hearts through the Holy Spirit. So that for what? Full of love. That love has to flow to somebody else too. That's what love is about. Just as I've loved you, love one another. That is the sign that we are walking in the truth in the light if anybody says that he's in the light and he hates his brother he lives in darkness he's a liar come on tonight church every lie against ourselves be broken tonight let the truth of God's word set us free our heart, our mind, our lives free in the name of Jesus the Bible says, but it shall come to pass. Hallelujah. See, this is all the happenings of what has happened by Adam's sin. But when we come under the mercy and the grace of the cross of Calvary, we cannot kill our brother. We are brother's keepers. Always remember that. That's the nature that we have received from Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Bible says, when God pronounced obedience, very few people say Amen. Like some of you are not saying Amen. The Bible says, when you completely obey the Lord your God, I will bless you. Hallelujah. But everybody said Amen to the curses that were pronounced. Hallelujah. Because the moment you say Amen, you are sure that thing will happen. So, don't say Amen to the curses. You are supposed to say Amen to the blessing. Deuteronomy 28, 23 says, And your heavens which are over your head shall be bronze, and the earth which is under your shall be iron. In the Old Testament, because there was no Jesus, there was no cross, people did not have the guts to say Amen to that. But tonight, because we are under the holy blood of Jesus Christ, under the better covenant, all His promises are yes and Amen. Through the finished work of Jesus Christ, we can say Amen to the blessing of God. We can do Amen through the instruction that we are called to do it. Because we said, oh my God, I can follow this instruction because of Jesus' blood, because of His grace. His commandments are not burdensome anymore. Why? Because of Jesus' grace. Come on church tonight. 
And he says, be brother's keeper. We don't have to, oh my God, will I be able to? You can, because you're under a better covenant. The moment you rebel or disobey the Lord without realizing this, this is what has happened tonight. You continually come under this disobedience and rebellion with disobedience. When you don't acknowledge the Lordship of Jesus over your life, this is the kind of experience you will have. But tonight I pray, as you look to the Lord and call on the name of Jesus and you will say, Lord, I'm sorry, Lord. That I want to open my heart before you. That I want to respond to you tonight. I want my heavens to be opened and the earth to bring forth this yield. And I want the work of my hands to be blessed. And when you speak it out, hallelujah, he will forgive you and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Once again, he will set you free. Tonight, I pray that you shall close your eyes for a few minutes. Ask the Lord for forgiveness if you have gone against this word tonight against the instruction against the commandments of the Lord tonight and say Lord I'm sorry Lord sorry Lord sorry Lord oh hallelujah for not walking in love not to be led by spirit I'm sorry for walking in flesh and trusting in my flesh I'm sorry Lord tonight hallelujah release me Lord hallelujah tonight Lord hallelujah Oh, the Let the power of this word reach out to your heart tonight, and may your open heavens be above you tonight. That is your portion. Oh, the moment you ask forgiveness, Hallelujah! There is something that will happen in the realm of the spirit. Oh, You will feel the freedom inside of you to receive it. Ha! Huh? That's right. In the name of Jesus, you will feel a freedom inside, the faith to receive it. Hallelujah! Blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Till that time, you'll think, oh, it's for me. Can I take it? Can I receive it? But once you ask the Lord, sorry, you will have that freedom to receive. It's mine. Genesis 26. The Bible says, Isaac sowed in the land and he reaped the same year a hundredfold. Genesis 26, 17. The Bible says, Isaac departed from there and pitched his tent in the valley of Girar and dwelt there. The valley of Girar, that is a place of survival. He looked at his father's well and tried to open it. The enemies will, will come and close, just surviving in Girar. Just surviving again. Started with survival. Again, to look at that ah, three dimensions. He would go forth from that place and got into the second realm called Rehoboth. Rehoboth. Which means a place of sufficiency. He called the name of it Rehoboth. In Genesis 26 and the 22nd verse says, He moved from there and dug another well and did not quarrel over it again. So he called its name Rehoboth. Because he said, For now the Lord has made room for us and we will be fruitful in the land. Hallelujah. From survival to sufficiency some people are happy in that place I'm blessed my needs are met I have enough for water to drink I can pay for my children's school fees I have enough money to build a house I can pay my EMI for my car people are sufficient I mean they are satisfied there happy I can pay my laborers I can start a small business I'm happy there but don't stop there there's a third realm that God wants His people to walk into. It's called Beersheba. Everybody say Beersheba. A place of prosperity and surplus living. Hallelujah. In Genesis chapter 26 and 23 and the 24, the Bible says, Then he went up from there to Beersheba. And the Lord appeared to him and same night and said, I am the God of your father Abraham. Do not fear, for I am with you. I will bless you and multiply your descendants and my serve for my servant Abraham's sake. And Genesis 26, 27, 28. And Isaac said unto them, Why have you come to me since you hate me and have sent me away from you? But they said, We have certainly seen that the Lord is with you. And we said, Let there be now an oath, an oath between us, between you and us. Let us make a covenant with you. Enemies recognized that Isaac was tremendously blessed because the Lord was with him. Tonight, Say, Lord is with me tonight. Hallelujah. 
and the enemies testified that the Lord is with you and let that be our portion in Jesus Christ let everybody that was quarreling you against you oppressing you harassing you hallelujah belittling you hallelujah the same people tonight I'm declaring will come back and say the Lord is with you let's make an oath let's make an oath between you let's make a covenant between you and me because you know I am no longer want to hallelujah upset you come on that is what the word some of them are going to say I'm not going to upset this person I don't want to upset Chakov anymore because I know that the Lord is with you. That's what the people are going to say. Come on, some of the exact words tonight. I'm declaring exact words. Oh, hallelujah. There is a realm of sufficiency where you can pro- walk tonight. The problem is that in the realm of sufficiency, there is any, nothing that you can't do for others. You are only happy within yourself. There's nothing you can do for the kingdom of God. It's a very selfish place. You are happy with your own small world. You can look back and say, somehow I managed this month. You know, no issues came. All expenses are met. Paid my rent, my fees, no expenses. Praise God, I bought a new iPhone. And you can testify also in the church. But it's still a selfish place. But you should aspire a place of surplus. Some believers are happy just being there, but in this COVID-19, when everybody is in the containment zone, you are not. Hallelujah, in a containment. Enemy would like to containment the believers in the life of sufficiency. Tonight, I release the church, I release my life, I release your life, I release our families from the realm of sufficiency to the realm of surplus thinking and surplus lifestyle and surplus living. Ah, yeah, yeah, for the glory of God, for the kingdom of God. If you're happy, hallelujah. Come on, put your hands together. Give a shout of praise and hallelujah in your own home. Come on, I feel the anointing of God, anointing of surplus, anointing of breakthrough. Oh, Karabas. Sambarada, Divaria Sambara, Digaria Sotere Balasia. Oh, hallelujah. Where you can say, God is taking off over, over me. God is taking care of me. Oh, hallelujah. Sometimes when you speak about surplus, people say, Pastor, I'm content with what I have. It is very spiritual, see, you see. But you are not content, you are contained. 1 Timothy 6 says, Contentment has great gain. Godliness with contentment has great gain. But where is the gain? Where is the gain? In other words, the Lord is saying, Yes, it's good to be content. That kind of godliness has a gain. That's where God wants you to be. In the gain zone. Come on, not in the containment oh I'm happy no no it should lead you to the gain zone come on tonight this word is going to release you from a place called heart of containment very good from but if not there that's not your portion that's not your zone he is releasing you into a gain zone tonight in the name of the Lord come on church tonight oh hallelujah because the people operate like to operate in the realm of survival Believers are more happy to move, you know, in the realm of survival. But tonight there is a movement forward into the realm of sufficiency. I call it the name of Jesus. Because the place of survival is vulnerable. There is no savings. There are, the, there are, there are small setbacks. You know, even set, setbacks come in the place of sufficiency. You, you, you become suicidal, depressed. But today you have a good job. And tomorrow, you are in the street with nothing and suddenly you become vulnerable. You in the, lie in the night worried about you tomorrow because the spirit of mammon has taken a hold over your mind. It is making you restless. It is making you jealous over the one who has <laughs> walking in the uh, all surplus of God. 
How many of you think it's a good idea to have my own sufficiency and from sufficiency to surplus and enough and more for the kingdom of God and to be not jealous? Come on. Hallelujah. To break out from the spirit of jealousy. Hallelujah. Because I don't need to compare because I can say God is with me and it's God has blessed me too. Let there be a two in your life tonight to tell somebody God has blessed me too. Come on somebody tonight. Is it bringing a smile on your face? That's why I said, survival is not your place. Sufficiency is your place. Because sufficiency will bring a smile. To her. Come on. Come on somebody tonight. Worry is the interest that you pay for the loan you have not taken. <laughs> That's what worry will do. That's what sufficiency, staying in uh, survival, staying in sufficiency will do. You are worrying about a loan that you have not taken. You lay worried. What is going to happen tomorrow? God does not want us to worry. Tonight, ha, that a worry connected to a survival mindset to be broken. May you enter by faith into a realm, hallelujah, of supernatural surplus living, into streets, oh, yeah, yeah, into streets of surplus living. I don't know why I said that, but into streets, I see streets. Uh, some of the streets that you are going to live are going to be only people who can afford more and more. Those kind of streets are going to be yours. Come on, somebody, take it. Hallelujah, glory to God. Philippians 4 6 says, Be anxious for nothing and everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your request be made known to God. Today, the word of God set somebody free who's just, who's just, you know, getting revived by this word. Setting free somebody who was just there. You know, may God release you from that place of surviving. Somebody was just surviving. God is, God is reviving you from there to a place of sufficiency tonight. In the name of the Lord. Everything that is contained to you in that level to be broken tonight in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. May He bring you into a place of sufficiency and from there into a place of surplus in the name of Jesus tonight. Hallelujah. Lift your hands and say, receive it in the name of Jesus. Or receive it in the name of Jesus. Sufficiency is better than survival. It's a good place, but it's not the best place because you can hardly give to somebody. You can hardly bless somebody. Sufficient does not allow to help somebody tonight. So what is the biblical thing? A few points and let's pray together. Because sometimes it is very hard to preach. Pastor said it's very hard to preach a message. There is nothing. The moment you preach, people will say it's a prosperity gospel. There is nothing called a prosperity gospel. We are all gospel preachers because we preach salvation is only through Jesus and only through grace. We speak about forgiveness of sin. We speak about healing in the name of Jesus. We speak about the baptism of the Holy Spirit. We speak about the gifts of the Spirit. We, we speak about the repentance by faith. We, 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 we speak about the second coming of our Lord. And together with that, because like all the other topics, the prosperity is there in the Bible, we preach prosperity also. That is called the full gospel. Come on tonight, church. Uh, we preach the full gospel of Jesus Christ, the full counsel of God, because prosperity is also a part of it. It's there in the Bible. The same Holy Spirit who wrote the rest of those chapters has also written this. So we have to preach it because Bible says He will only confirm His word. Oh, come on tonight, church. God's idea of surplus is you to have enough and more. So that you don't succumb to greed or covetousness or mammon. What is surplus? You are more than is required or needed for your personal life. Lift your hands and say, I have more that is required in the name of Jesus. Amen. What is surplus? Over and above the norm. It is speaking about a Goshen grace and favor. Over and above the norm. It means excessive. Beyond what you can think or ask or expect, God gives you. Tonight in the name of Jesus, 
step into by faith in the name of the Lord. Put your right leg somewhere and say, I'm stepping into in the name of Jesus. I'm stepping into by faith in the name of Jesus tonight. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Ephesians 3 says, He's able to do exceedingly, abundantly, more than you could think of and imagine or dream because of the great power that works within you, the El Shaddai power. But some people, the problem in the church is they have the elder son mentality, the small God, the small God mentality. What is the small God mentality? In Luke chapter 15, the elder son is coming back. The servants told him that the younger son has come back and the father is celebrating. The elder son gets so upset and he stands outside the church. He says, I was with you serving, but you'd not even give me a small goat. And the father said, everything that I have is yours. And your younger brother knew that. That's why he came back. That's why I'm giving it to them. Why, 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 why are you worried about the little goat when I have everything that you, I have is yours? But if you only want the little goat, take it. <laughs> that is also yours. Some people have the small goat mentality. There is no spirituality in lack. And there is no spirituality in surplus either. The spirituality has to do with your relationship with Jesus Christ. Your spirituality has to do with the knowing the heart of the Father. Having a lack of or surplus does not make you less or more spiritual. That is not the question here. Do you want into the step, hallelujah, or the realm where the Father wants to get you to? That's the thing. So it's not about the spirituality. It's about, do you want to understand the heart of the Father and step into that realm? That's all. Tonight I pray that the heart of the Father shall be revealed over your heart, over your mind, over our life. Hallelujah. I feel a supernatural freedom tonight moving in the house of God and into your houses, into your room. It is sent from heaven above. Hallelujah. Glory to God as you're believing. Hallelujah. Certain huh, bars of iron are broken. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Things are happening. Ha, ha, ha. Ho, ho. Open your mother. Things are happening. Come on. Angels are working. Come on. Glory to God problem with some believers they got the grasshopper mentality numbers 13 and the 33rd verse they are in the promised land but in their mindset the grasshopper they're seeing the giants they said they're like grasshoppers grasshoppers never eat grapes the grapes are there but they can only see the problem and they can never eat the grapes don't have the grasshopper mentality. Look at two people and say, don't have the grasshopper mentality. Or the goat mentality. <laughs> that be broken off your life tonight in the name of Jesus. Because there are grapes there. Focus on the grapes. Focus on the Father's house. Focus on what is provided. Focus on the heart of the Lord. Focus on the promises of God. And re re release it tonight over your life. Eat it. Receive it and eat it tonight. It is said, beware of the naked man who promises you a shirt. <laughs> There's no surplus there. You cannot help somebody or further the kingdom of God without surplus. That's where we come to Goshen. Because what is Goshen? Joseph, the favorite of the Lord, he is saying to his brothers to go and call my father who is in Canaan and brothers you come with your families, with your sons, your daughters, and with your cattle, all that you have, and I'll take care of you. Come on, look at the surplus. Man with surplus. One man is taking care of 70 of them because he knew what he's stepping into. The grace and the favor and the anointing of Goshen. Come on. He's saying that I can take care of this. Oh, Kuma, Tata, Kuma, 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 It's an anointing tonight. They give you praise. There's a realm where you can take care. Ask the Lord, give me that grace tonight, Lord. Hallelujah. Give me, lift your hands and say, receive it. I receive it. I receive it. In the name of Jesus tonight. 
We give you praise and glory tonight. You're stepping into a blessing. You want to take care of someone else? Tap into that kind of favor. Open your mouth and pray earnestly and say, Lord, I want to step into that blessing and favor and grace that will bring surplus. Open your mouth. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in simple words, simple language. Jesus, Jesus, O mani hesie, lo manti nesie. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus, Lord. May your people receive an anointing. Oh, take tonight. Catch tonight in the name of Jesus. Give you praise tonight. The purpose of message tonight is you step into it. How do you step into it? How do you tap into this grace? Number one, pray. There is a saying, when prayer becomes your habit, miracles and blessings will become your lifestyle. What do you need to pray? Ask God for the surplus anointing of prosperity that is scriptural to flow into your life tonight. For Psalm 118, when you read 19 to 26, it says, Open to me the gates of righteousness. I will go through them. I will praise the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. Through the righteous shall enter. I will praise you. For you have answered me and you have become my salvation. The stone which the builders have rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing. It's marvelous in our eyes. This is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad at it. Next verse, verse 25. Save now, I pray, O Lord. Lord, I pray, send now prosperity. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We have blessed you from the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Bible says you prayed and you are blessed. And you are blessing somebody else out of that. Hallelujah. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We have blessed you from the house of the Lord. When the prosperity came, we have blessed you. Come on, church, tonight. Lord, I pray some now prosperity. Why? So that we have blessed you from the house of God. May our house of God be a distribution center to the nations of the world, to the land of Israel, to the nations of the world. I am asking the Lord tonight to position us to bless the land of Israel, God's nation. Hallelujah. In the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, to be a part of accelerating the prophecies of God. And together with that, hallelujah, to accelerate, hallelujah, the prophecies, hallelujah, through the material prosperity that is going to flow from the house of God tonight. Number two, confess. Confess all your known sins. In Proverbs chapter 28 and the 13th verse. He who covers his, covers his sins shall not prosper. But whoever confesses and forsakes them will have mercy. Hallelujah. I told you, when you confess your sin, when the Holy Spirit shows something and when you confess it, there is a freedom to receive. Sin is a block to abundance. Say with me, sin is a block to abundance. Number three, listen to the prophets of God. 2 Chronicles chapter 20 and the 20th verse. So they rose early in the morning and went into the wilderness of Tekoa. As they went out, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear, O Judah, and you inhabitants of Jerusalem, believe in the Lord your God, and you shall be established. Believe his prophets and you shall prosper. Stay in the realm of anointing where you have men of God speaking over your life. The word. Releasing prophetic words over your life and then do it, tap into it. If you're sensitive to the Holy Spirit have a relationship with Jesus, you will get what God wants you to get. Sometimes simple little things to, will help you. What God says through the servant of God, you do simple things. I still remember telling some, <laughs> I don't know, I should say that, I said many times. You know, simple, somebody was believing for marriage and was praying simple thing. I said, please comb your hair. I think within two weeks, that person started combing her hair. Within one or two weeks, the marriage was fixed. 
I don't know. Simple things tonight. Simple thing. There are people who have given instructions. They have not received it. And still staying in the average realm of God. Four. Look at somebody and say, follow the instruction. The comb your hair. <laughs> Number four, make up your mind to be a giving person, not a stingy person. God cannot put anything in a closed fist. Amen. Proverbs chapter 11, 24 and 20, 28, 24 to 28, the Bible says, There is one who scatters yet increases more, and there is one who withholds more than right leads to poverty. The generous shall be made rich. The one who waters also be watered himself. The People will curse him who withholds grain. But blessing will be on the head of whom? Of him who sells it. He who earnestly seeks good finds favor. But trouble will come to him who seeks evil. He who trusts in his riches will fall. But the righteous will flourish. Amen. Isaiah 32, 1 to 8. Behold, a king will reign in righteousness and princes will rule with justice. A man will be as a hiding place from the wind and to cover from the tempest. As a rivers of water in a dry place, as a shadow of great rock in a weary land, the eyes of those who see will not be dim and the ears of those who hear will listen. And also the heart of the brash will understand knowledge and the tongue of the stammerers will be ready to speak plainly coming coming down the foolish person will no longer be called generous not the mind practice ungodly bountiful for the foolish person will speak foolishness and his heart will work iniquity to practice ungodliness to utter against the error against the lord to keep the angry unsatisfied so he's foolish and he will cause the drink of the thirsty to fail also, the scheme of the schemer are evil. He devises wicked scheme to destroy the poor with lying words, even when the needy speaks justice. But a, a eighth verse is key. But a generous man devises generous things, and by generosity he shall stand. Come on. This is my experience. There are many times that I have fallen if it was not for this principle. Many storms that would have taken over me if it was not for principle by generosity and by giving hallelujah storms exhausted themselves and storms left hallelujah praise god storms failed hallelujah praise god because by your generosity you shall stand for the glory of jesus christ isaiah 32 20 blessed are those who sow beside all waters who send out freely the feet of the ox and the donkey Ox speaks about apostolic ministry. Donkey speaks about prophetic ministry. He says, blessed are those who sow in all those waters. 1 Corinthians 9 says, when an ox is treading, do not muscle it or stop it. A worker deserves his wages. When we release into, hallelujah, prophetic, apostolic, hallelujah, ministries, and hallelujah, praise God, anointings God has placed over our life. Hallelujah. The Bible is saying, hallelujah, freely will flow into your life. There's a freely, when you do it understanding with the knowledge of God, hallelujah, there is a freedom, there is a free release, there is a free flow that will come upon your life. Let that be your portion tonight in the name of Jesus tonight. Philippians 4.18 says, Paul is saying, Indeed, I have all and abound and I am full, having received from Epaphroditus. Epaphroditus. 
the things that send from you a sweet smelling aroma an acceptable sacrifice well pleasing to god paul is saying i need and i'm all abound and i'm full message version and now i have it all and keep getting more the gift you with you send with epaphroditus is that correct epaphroditus correct <laughs> for more than enough like a sweet smelling sacrifice roasting on the altar filling the air with fragrance pleasing god no end hallelujah verse 19 says and my god shall supply all your needs according to his riches and glory what kind of supply he saying i have all i am abounding and i am full now he saying my god shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory in other words and in other words goshen he was experiencing a goshen anointing over his life a place of comfort and plenty during the time of famine paul is saying i have it all and are getting more i receive the gift it is a sweet smelling aroma but let i'm telling you may god supply all your need according to his riches he says i'm not in a surviving mode i'm in a supr- surplus supply mode come on tonight church joseph is taking care of his fathers his brothers and their families and he's saying bring them all when jacob comes to hear that joseph is alive and calling for him into the land of goshen hallelujah jacob is sitting on the chariot and the joseph send and he's getting back but jacob understood the access into this blessing how do you access it how do you access it how do you access it ibariya satara gada skaradara number 5th how do you access it genesis 46 and the 28th verse he said let juda go first into the land of goshen where he will meet with joseph juda means praise praise has to go first amidst famine covid 19 struggles don't sit there murmur and complain let juda go first come on let juda go first what will happen to my child his school what will happen to my job what will happen to that plan let juda go first ara bakara let ropa ke shiata let words of life go first let praise go first hakaba sote bere sote Amen. Was 15 to 16. Two Chronicles chapter 20. Was 15 to 16. When there were armies king Jehovah Shepherd say let Judah go first. During the times of battle Bible is saying let Judah go first in times of battle don't sit there and say oh it is battle oh it is struggle how do I survive? praise him look at three people and say praise him don't say will there be sufficient for me will there be surplus for me praise him don't give in to your mental battles praise him come on church tonight you have to lift up the name of jesus god will give men abundance in the time of famine he will bless you when you praise men who praises the lord is where the blessing is tapped hallelujah Now Joseph is saying I know you are blessed. I know you have sufficiency but you've come here and stay with me for I will preserve you. I will take care of you and I will protect you. Because there is going to be trouble for the next 5 years. It is going to take a bit more longer than you think Joseph is telling them. So the only way you can be in this blessing and protection is by stepping into the realm of goshen come on church tonight come on church tonight this is the word hallelujah this is the word you have to step into the realm of goshen come on 
into the realm of surplus living, into the realm of Groshan. Come on tonight, church. Divariya Samhara Dara Sambora Dara Sia. God wants to show excessive kindness tonight to somebody. God wants you to have gifts that you do not earn or you do not deserve. A life that you have not earned. Hallelujah. God is releasing the anointing. Favor means the tangible release of God's ability, influence and provision in your life. In the name of Jesus tonight, I release the anointing, the favor, all at the tangible release. Receive it tonight. Lift your hands and say, Lord, I receive it. Hallelujah. The tangible release of God's ability, God's influence, and God's provision be us tonight in the name of Jesus I lose now in the name of Jesus take it now hallelujah the favor of God is a supernatural increase in promotion is a restoration of stolen things is a honor in the midst of adversaries and an increase of assets and great victories in the midst of great challenges receiving recognition where you are least likely to get it prominence and progression treatment petitions granted by even ungodly civil authorities tonight let that be your portion if you believe it put your hands together oh if you want to dance tonight, if you want to praise tonight, if you want to run in the spirit tonight, oh, receive it. Victory by the blood of Jesus. That is what Pharaoh is saying. Jacob, you take the land of Goshen, the most fertile place of Egypt. Hallelujah. When you look at the map, Goshen is right in between Egypt. Gosh, Goshen, see, Goshen is right in between. Egypt first is all around, and all around Egypt there is lack. But in Goshen, in this Goshen, there is no lack. That's our portion. All around, there's complaining, GDP going down. But I told you, the men of God saying the church in the next four months are going to go ahead 10 years. Hallelujah. That's a prophecy that was released over the church. Receive it again and again and again and again in the name of Jesus. The Bible says there were flies all over Egypt, but right in the center, the epicenter. Hallelujah. It should have been of all the problems and troubles, but right in the center, they are protected. They've preserved because they've tapped into this grace of into the blessing of favor that comes from Gosh. Tonight, policies will be reversed for your advantage. Oh, I pray for somebody tonight who needs a policy for their advantage. Governmental orders, government and rules shall be changed for you tonight, for your protection, for your favor in the name of Jesus. Oh, Katharaba, Shikaraba. Travel entries for businesses shall be rules will be changed for your favor tonight in Jesus' name. Egyptians hate shepherds, they're not supposed to enter. But the most fertile land, Pharaoh is saying, You take it. Hallelujah! Oh, hallelujah! Favor is winning battles that you did not even need to fight. Oh, hallelujah. There are battles that you thought you needed to fight. But favor is when you are going to win a fight, a battle that you will not need to fight tonight. Hallelujah. They did not even have to argue. Hallelujah. Can you, can you please give that? Pharaoh said, take it. Take it. Take it. Hallelujah. This week. Hallelujah. Let there be some testimonies. Hallelujah. Mighty testimonies. Of where you will win battles that you will not. Oh, yeah, yeah. Kobaraba, Satarabala. We give you praise and we give you glory in the house of God. Hallelujah. Favor has to be real and the anointing has to be real. How will you tap to it? You have to acknowledge. Number six, favor is real. Learn to recognize it. Acknowledge it. You have to believe for favor. Expect every day. Confess forth, I'm favored. I'm highly favored. Then you tap into this anointing. Don't be ashamed of favor when God favors you. 
survival, sufficiency, and surplus. 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 Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So tonight is the word. Hallelujah. The grace and the favor of Goshen. Open your heart to Him. If there is anything in your life where the blessing is not flowing, any area in your life where the blessing is not flowing, confess it before the Lord. Confess it out to the Lord. Something that feels like close heaven, seems like you're hard working, nothing coming. Tell the Lord tonight. We feel like Zion needs to be broken off tonight in the name of Jesus. Tell him, tell him, tell him. That's one, one, one area we want to pray. Another area we want to pray is if you're not your brother's keep, if you kill someone with your words and with your lifestyle or with your action, ask the Lord for forgiveness. He'll forgive you. If you need to reconcile with somebody, do it or make a decision to do it tonight. If you work in constant disobedience and rebellion, chances are that the heaven is closed. Ask the Lord for forgiveness tonight. The Lord, I'm sorry for my disobedience. Sorry for my rebellion. I surrender my life to you, Jesus. Submit my life to you. These two areas, bring it before the Lord tonight. And pray this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I give you my life. I surrender my life. Forgive me. Forgive all of my sin. Lord Jesus, cleanse me from all unrighteousness. I surrender my life to you and I yield to you, Lord. I submit my life to you. I will be teachable, Lord. I humble myself. You give grace to humble. Jesus Christ, you are my Lord. You are my master, my savior. I renounce you. I renounce Satan. I renounce the world. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Now anoint me with your Holy Spirit that I may be full and abound and increase in the law. Thank you, Lord. Anoint me with the surplus anointing and the grace and the favor of Gosh. I receive it now by faith in Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I lift your hands and thank the Lord. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You deserve the glory and the honor. Thank you, Jesus. As we're going to partake the bread and the wine. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Take a bread and the wine. If you have said this prayer, I want you to celebrate God's goodness, God's favor. Hallelujah. God's miracle, miraculous provision tonight. As you worship the Lord tonight, let praise go first. Let worship go first tonight. Start praising the Lord. Start thanking the Lord. Lord thank you, Start Jesus. giving praise. Oh, we praise you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we thank you, Lord. You, you deserve, deserve the glory and the honor. And the honor as we lift our hands in worship, as we lift your holy name. You deserve the glory, oh yeah, and the honor. Lord, we lift our hands in worship. As we lift your holy name, for you are great, you do miracles so great, there is no one else like you, there is no one else like you, you are great, you do miracles so great, there is no one else You are. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Father, tonight, as we hold the burden in our hands, help us to move into the realm of surplus, Lord. Let your surplus provision take over our lives tonight. As we partake of this is your bread, this is your life. Connect us. Reveal to us. Anoint us. Bless us with the surplus living tonight. In the name of Jesus, Lord. As we partake of this bread, let that portion of you become alive in us. In the name of Jesus. But I receive from the Lord that which I also passed on to you on the night when he was betrayed, the Lord Jesus took bread and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, this is my body, which is for you. Just broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. As we remember you, Lord, let the part, let the nature of surplus be activated in our lives tonight. Bless our lives. Bless our bodies. Long life. Renew our youth like that of an eagle. Help us live to the fullness and overflowing. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. as often as you drink it in remembrance of me as we hold the cup in our hands Lord we thank you Jesus tonight that every place that we have come short of tonight is covered by your blood every place the bars of iron the chains of brass was holding our lives We thank you, it's broken tonight. Never again to come back. In the name of Jesus. We thank you, you redeemed us from the curse of the law. That you became a curse for us to walk in the blessing of Abraham. It says, Abraham walked under the open heavens tonight through the redeeming sacrifice of Jesus Christ. We step into the realm of open heavens, of sub. Sufficiency and surplus. That's right. Living tonight. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We release every brother and sister. That we have hurted or killed with our words. We release them and we bless them. Amen. Into the same favor. Amen. Tonight in the name of Jesus. That's right. Tonight from the land of Gerar from Rehoboth to Beersheba in the name of Jesus. We receive it by faith. Bless this cup and bless our lives in Jesus' name. Let there be a Beersheba blessing activated in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Let's partake of it together. As often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until He comes. Amen. My brother, my sister, Jesus Christ will come back 
a second time. Amen. But until then, you and I shall be protected Amen. and preserved Amen. by the anointing and the favor and the grace of Goshen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. The whole world lies in darkness. Amen. But the glory of Yahweh shall be seen over Amen. our life. If you believe it, lift your hands. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Oh. You the miracles so great, there is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. You are great. You the miracles so great, there is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. You are great. You the miracles. That you saw, may you reap a hundredfold, a thousandfold tonight. The place of struggle to go tonight. May you outlast every star, may you outlast every famine in the name of Jesus. May you move into surplus living tonight in the name of Jesus. for you tonight. May the light of Goshen shine upon you. May the prosperity heard in the Goshen shine upon you. May the enemy say that the Lord is with you. You are great. You the miracles are great. There is the tangible anointing influence and ability Come upon your life tonight. No one else like you. You are great. You the miracles of God. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. You are great. You the miracles of God. There is no one else like you. There is no supply all my need, all your need, according to his riches and glory. I have enough and more, abounding, may God supply all your need, according to his riches and glory. Thank you, Jesus. Father, may the anointing, the grace and the favor of Goshen be upon the land in the name of Jesus. Amen. Certain cases that are against them be won in the name of Jesus. That the strongholds that is against your people shall be broken in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let the financial debts be over tonight in the name of the Lord. Amen. Financial depression to come to an end to a stop tonight in the name Amen. of the Lord. I call them by faith into the land of plentiful, in the land of rain, into the land where the judgment of God, hallelujah, oh, is far away, is hallelujah, is not there. I call them into that land of God's goodness and mercy. O Brantana Shanta Barosha. O Parabasha. Make your people rich tonight in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of poverty be broken tonight. Be free from every plague tonight. 
in the name of Jesus I speak both healing and wholeness tonight of the land of Goshen the anointing of Goshen where no spiritual immoral authority can touch you tonight in the name of Jesus or civil authority will touch you every authority will come in favor of you tonight in the name of the Lord ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. favor with God favor with man So bless your people in the name of the Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, in the name of the Holy Spirit. May the favor of Goshen, may the favor of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the favor through the redeeming through the blood of Jesus Christ, be theirs in the name of Jesus. You receive it, lift your hands and say, Receive it by faith. Receive the grace and the favor of Goshen. Say it out, say it out. Say, I shall be nourished in the name of Jesus and my household. In the name of Jesus. Let there be plentiful tonight, Lord. Let there be plentiful, Lord. Let there be not even a testimony of lack be ever heard in the name of the Lord. Over their lives will be the last day of lack. Oh, for I break the gates of iron. I gate, but break the gates of bars and I cut door, cut open tonight. Cut the bars of iron and sunder in the name of Jesus tonight. Hallelujah, Lord. Oh, that the men would praise the Lord for his goodness. Sir. Oh, and for his wonderful works for the children of praise. Praise, testimonies will oh, be heard in the name of Jesus. Ah, oh, that's right. The Lord said the testimony shall be heard in the south. In the south. In the south. You are living in the south. In the south of India, testimony shall be heard. Oh, hallelujah. We release the south the Lord to the plentiful in the name of the Lord. The Bangalore city in the south. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. Let there be a Goshen anointing. We release over your children tonight. Oh. Let there be angels of favor, Lord. Pray in the Holy Ghost for two more minutes tonight. Let the treasures of darkness be yours tonight. Let the hidden riches of sickness. Yes, Lord. Hidden riches of sickness, please. We ask in the name of Jesus. The treasures come to you tonight. Where vultures I not see. Ah, yeah, yeah. Lions, where the Lord trodden. Come on tonight. Be your portion in the name of the Lord. Every place you are set free, I reassign angels to guard over your portion, to guard over your prosperity. We thank you tonight. In the name of God. We give you praise and we be glory. In Jesus' name, Father, we pray. Amen, amen, amen. If you are blessed, give him praise, lift your voice and give all praises. Glory to Jesus. Say, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Look at your neighbor standing next to you and say live a significant life for God's kingdom amen live a significant life amen live a significant life for the kingdom of God amen blessed be the name of the Lord so God bless you I will see you in a few days till that time shout it out Jesus Christ is Lord hallelujah and he is Lord he is Lord When God is with you, nothing's gonna be impossible.
Hallelujah. Tonight, I see a home, father, mother, and the, and the child are kneeling down and, and worshiping the Lord. God is releasing that home free tonight in the name of Jesus from, from financial difficulties tonight in the name of Jesus. We thank you. We praise you. We adore you. We exalt you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Tonight, go in peace of our Lord Jesus Christ. I see a great light shining across of your life over the church. A great light, a huge, hallelujah, great shining light flooding across our lives tonight. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. So God bless you. I'll see you. Amen. Hope you were blessed by the service. Following are the announcements. For those of you who want to pray for pastor and his family, men can give their name to brother John. And for the ladies, you can give your name to sister Lena. We also have regular intercession throughout the week. Men can give their name to brother John and the ladies can give their name to sister Lena. Those who are celebrating their birthdays and anniversary, we wish you a blessed year ahead. Pastor has declared this word over your lives. From 2 Chronicles 2020. Early in the morning, they left for the desert of Tekaum. As they set out, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Listen to me, Judah and people of Jerusalem. Have faith in the Lord your God and you will be upheld. Have faith in his prophets and you will be successful. We also encourage you to be a part of the regular care sales meeting that we are having throughout the week. Whichever area you are staying, please do get in touch with your respective leaders and be a part of the cell meeting and be blessed and stay connected.